Hello friends, our verse for today is Matthew chapter 6 verse 15. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. This verse is found within the larger pericope Matthew 6 verses 5 through 15, which is the Lord's teaching on prayer. It forms part of the larger discourse of the Beatitudes. Before now, in Matthew 5.45, Jesus had taught about the necessity to love one's enemies. At the beginning of the chapter, he taught about almsgiving in Matthew chapter 6 verses 1 through 4. And in verse 5, he tells the disciples not to heap up empty phrases while praying like the Gentiles do. The version of the Lord's Prayer can be found in Luke 11, 2-4. The Lord's Prayer is a conversation between Father and Son. The opening invocation itself, Pater Hemon, our Father, is a revolution in ancient thought on man's relationship to God. God was seen in ancient times as sovereign and almighty creator, one who was so powerful and distant that he could not even be called by name. Yet, in this prayer taught by Jesus, God is called Father, Pater, in a very intimate and close relationship. Prayer was often considered distinct from action. It was St. Augustine who said that one should work as though all depended on him or her, and one should pray as if all depended on God. Prayer was often seen as God's activity in the heart of men. However, this Matthean version of the Lord's Prayer ends on the responsibility of man to the result he expects from his prayer. Even if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The word for forgiveness is afiemi in Greek. It appears six times between Matthew 6, 12-15. It means to release, to forgive, to cancel, to let go. The construction is negative in this verse. If you do not forgive others, God will not forgive you. We may ask, is there something God cannot do? Can God be unable to forgive? No, God is always willing to forgive. The only sin which cannot be forgiven is the sin against the Holy Spirit, which is again man's refusal to accept forgiveness. Here in this verse, God wants to forgive, but man's refusal to forgive his neighbor obstructs and hinders him from receiving pardon from God. Thus, the pardon is granted, but the recipient prevents himself from receiving it. Is there anyone we have a grouse with and find difficult to forgive? The season of Lent is a perfect time to release and to let go. Holding on to past hurts will only result in our getting hurt the more. When we release and let go, we become free and are able to live our lives fully and gladly as God's beloved children. Let us not hesitate to tell God this day the hurts and pains we have bottled up for so long. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, set us free from past hurts and negative experiences. We make bold to forgive those who have treated us badly. Forgive us our sins and restore unto us the joy of our salvation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Shalom. Peace be with you.